What's going on guys, Junius Tech here back with another one. Now, I did a video a little while ago regarding the Logitech keyboard, which was a low profile keyboard. I think it was the G915, still using it to this day. Incredible, incredible keyboard at a rough price. So I decided to start looking around to see if I could find other low profile keyboards that were roughly the exact same at a massively discounted price. So today we're looking at the Red Dragon Horus. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Let's get into it. and we are talking about Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Already an amazing deal because of the autumn big sale. So from this process, all we need to do is platform, region, tags, as well as go to buy now. So we'll click on buy now, it'll then transfer us over to this page. From here, we down the promotions, what we need to do is type in SKJT and click on apply. Reduce your price down from 17 pound and a penny down to 13 pound 61. So from here, all we need to do is go down to submit order. As soon as you've done that, you just select your payment type and of course, we'll go from there. So as soon as you've actually bought it and went for the process, you'll be brought to this page. From here, what we need to do is click on the green tab, which says view, view keys and codes. So what you need to do is click on get the key and the middle code is gonna be your activation key. Mine's gonna be blurred out, but yours won't be, so don't worry. So what we need to do is highlight this code, click on Control C, or you can right click and just click copy. Then what we need to do is go over the settings, top left, find in settings, type in activation. Where it says change product key, give that a click. And then where it says product key, just copy and paste, well, just paste your code into there. Mine will be blurred, yours won't be. Do that, click on next. So there we go, Windows has checked it and you are now ready to activate it. Just click on activate and you are pretty much good to go. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just get this unboxed, see what we're working with, and we'll go from there. I have already looked at this just to see, obviously, if it was all in one piece. I didn't really fancy doing a review with a keyboard that wasn't working. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. So this is pretty much everything we get in the box. So we do, just to start off, we do get a little manual here. This is just telling you everything about OS support, what it does support, everything to do with like the 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth options. Everything to do with like how to play with the macros, how to delete macros, rechargeable keyboard, recording functions. So it tells you everything you need to know. We also get one of the Red Dragon stickers. This will also be going on the sticker collection on the wall. Now, we'll start off with this. So we do get a USB to USB Type-C cable, but the USB Type-C cable is at a 90 degree angle, which is quite nice. So you're not going to have to worry about it bending and breaking. Generic cable, not braided or anything, don't need it to be. Now, this is what I found different. We do get a keycap remover as well as a switch remover. Now, with low profile keys, I don't know if you know, the switches are like half the size, like literally they're flat as anything. Now, with the Logitech G915, I don't believe you can remove them. Don't quote me on that. I will have to check. But it's quite nice that they've actually given you this. But they've also provided you with a little box of what they call gaming switches. So pop these down as we can see we have so this is a low profile switch i'll see if i've got another one so this is a generic switch that you would get in the likes of a normal like say gaming keyboard obviously you can see the size of that and then with a the low profile one that is the size difference so you can see it is about half the size which is quite cool i have to admit so they are just generic two pins obviously trying to find different ones to go with this might be a little bit more difficult but they give you the extra ones, so it is quite cool. So I have to admit, they give you what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They give you eight extra switches, which is quite nice. I believe they're the exact same switches that were already in it. Um, but still, they give you eight extra switches, which you don't really see with low profile keys, uh, keyboards. And no offense, if you go down the links in the description, you'll see a link there for how much I actually paid for this. And it'll probably shock you, the matter of fact that they actually give you it. And then this is the keyboard we're looking at. Like I said, this is the Red Dragon Horus. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. This is a full size, full size keyboard, 100% keyboard with the full number pad. We have all our G, G1 to G5, as well as our M1 to M4 and then MR. So these are your reprogrammable switches, or if you want to call them your micro switches, which you can reprogram them. It tells you in the user manual exactly how to do that. So it is quite, quite cool. Now we do have our multimedia functions here. We have our mute and RGB buttons. We have our forward and back buttons for music and videos, as well as play and pause. And then we even have a volume scroller. 
Now that's a big thing for me because the Logitech G915 does have one of them and that's something I just I use on a daily basis. And then of course we have our four LEDs which is our num lock, uh, caps lock, scroll lock as well as our mode button which is quite cool. Now I am just going to take off a couple of these just so you can roughly see the inside. So that's pretty much what it looks like on the inside. Very generic. They're your low profile switches. And they come out very easily just with this little tool right here. Is my camera going to focus on it? Yes, it is. So that just simply goes into the side of the switch. Very bad. I had it on the wrong bit. I had it on the opposite side. It was on the other way. There we go. <laughs> so we have our low profile switch going on there. Very, very low profile. These are two pin. I believe, and the board only will take two pin as well. So I know with some keyboards, oh, you can get a selection of different pins, but this will only take low profile two pins, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I haven't looked online to see if you can buy any others. Um, that's not really why, obviously, I wanted it. I wanted to roughly see if you could get a keyboard that was pretty much the exact same as the Logitech G915 at a massively reduced price. That was the main idea of it, and I definitely found one at about a third of the price. So on the back of the keyboard, we do have our little USB receiver. Obviously, this is your 2.4 gigahertz network uh, to actually connect to. But on the keyboard itself, we do have the five function buttons. We do have Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. So you can connect this to three different devices. So if you've got, say, your computer and your laptop and your tablet, you can connect these to three different devices. And then as you want to change through, you just simply FN, B1, B2, B3, B4, whatever. But the 2.4 gigahertz is just simply with a little dongle and the USB is obviously with the USB to USB type C. So it's definitely a good little bit of kit to have, I have to admit. So the keyboard itself is about 22 millimeters thick, so it is an ultra thin keyboard and also comes with 16.8 million RGBs. So we can function through the different types of RGB, which is pretty cool. So we also have a max of 20 macro keys as well. So that is pretty cool. So you can reprogram the keys to your own liking. You can add them, you can remove them, and everything you can find in user manual will tell you how to do that. And also the keyboard itself does come with a 1900 milliamp hour battery. So it is going to last you a while, depending on obviously if you've got RGB running or if you've just got it totally off, it's going to last you a lot longer. So obviously with it being low profile keycaps, you've got to think generic keyboards have around about 11 millimeter caps. These are four millimeters. So they are as low profile as you're going to get. So guys, there we have it. That was the Red Dragon Horus. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The Horus keyboard. So the reason, the most common reason why I actually bought this, I got this with my own money for the reason that I wanted to see if it's worth it. And 100% definitely is. I like low profile keyboards. Like I said, I... I still use the Logitech G915 and... Oh, if I pick this one up. And there pretty much is no difference. Like, they are relatively pretty much the exact same. Logitech G915 has got a few extra different keys, the different placements. And the keys themselves are kind of set out a little bit more spread away from each other. But I have to admit, all in all, they are relatively pretty, pretty similar, which is quite cool. Logitech G915, brilliant keyboard. I'll put that in the video links in the description. But the Red Dragon Horus, I have to admit, a very, very strong competitor when it comes to pretty much what this can do compared to what the Logitech can do. And I really do like it. It's got all the different modes. It's got the full multimedia. Yes, the Logitech G915 does have the light speed technology and all that good stuff. And it does run through like Logitech G Hub. Fair enough, if you are a Logitech lover, this is going to be perfect for you. But if not, I definitely would say if you want a low profile keyboard, go for the Red Dragon Horus. It really is incredible. I was using it for about a week and a half, two weeks, everything from general use, gaming, editing, and I can't really complain about it. It really is a phenomenal keyboard. And it is quite cool that they're actually removable and you can actually change the switches. If you are going to, just remember that what type of switches you have and what the board can actually take. But I have to admit, really, really cool. So if you do want to go check these out for yourself, links are all in the video description, so you go check them out for yourself. If you do get them, you've got any issues, like I said, comment section below. Let me know. I'm more than happy to help. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.